Hello, my name is Arkady Chumakov, I am the author of How to do it in After Effects YouTube channel and VK.com group. Today I am starting Duke 15 series tutorial. What we have here? Here we have the switches row, that switch rigging animation tools, keyframes, cameras and settings tabs and developer link. He is a French named Dudouf. Over here you see two buttons. Notes, you can write some comments, some stuff like that. And they will be saved within your project. Calculator. I will explain auto-rig later. Let's start with IK tool. This is a tool that allows you to do inverse kinematics. How it works? Let's create a pretty simple arm. This one will be a hand. That one a elbow and the last one a arm. They are in one layer now, so I will explode them to three separate layers using explode layers script. Now I position anchor point on the side with reposition anchor point script. I'm going to parent them properly. Rename it hand. I will parent hand to elbow and elbow to the arm. Here we go. Next step is to create a controller. I create controller using controllers tool that bundles with Duik 15. This tool creates guide layer that shows you what controller do. For example, it could rotate or position by X and Y or scale your driven layer. This is a handy tool that allows you to determine how controller will look like, including color, size and shape and so on. Create a controller, here it is. It will be a controller for the hand. Now select hand layer, elbow layer, arm layer and for the last select controller. Push IK button and press create. We got something like robot arm, something like that. Next tool is IK Goal. Let's say we have a couple of objects and we want them to rotate independently. Let's say we have a square in the center. Make them parent. And now, when we rotate square, stars are rotating too. Not so awesome. To rotate them independently, we should apply a goal effect. Generally, it uses a rig character, but it well works in our case too. I will miss this layer to see difference. Now that we rotate square, the layer which we haven't applied goal is still following parent's rotation angle, while others keep their angle. Next tool, Bezier IK, allows you to create tails, chains and so on. Create new composition. There will be tails segments. Next we need two controllers, one for the start and one for the end. This one is start of the tail. This one is the end. Create controllers for start point. We shall place it a bit ahead, so I create a controller first and place it in front of the tail. Now parent them and select in the proper order. We start from the end and holding shift select all tails parts. 
At the end we select End controller and finally Start controller. Push Bezier IKEA. Here we have two options – Simple tail and Curved tail. We select Curved, as it looks more interesting. Here we go. Such an animation we can drag these controllers. Rotation Morph tool. For instance, we have a biceps and we animate muscle. When we animate character with Duik and want muscle to follow animation more naturally, you have to set up keyframes like that. Select them and press Rotation Morph. Now you can manipulate this deformation with angle controllers, parent it to puppet pins and make animation more natural. I reviewed controllers earlier in this video. Next tool – Bones. It allows you to create bones for character. We have this cute little boy. Precompose him. Set up puppet pins. Go to Duik, select Character and press Bones. Script creates a controller set that gives us full puppet mesh control without opening effect panel. Zero tool is using with controllers. Let's get back to our tail, where we got some controllers. You want controller position to be a start point of your entire animation, but you don't want to remember all these values. You push button, new object created, and you see that controller position value is set to zero. When you complete animation and want to return to initial point, all you have to do is to set position to zero, and you're done. List allows you to combine animation settings. Let's say we have some animation with wiggle. By pressing list you got the possibility of combining them. Rename is pretty interesting and useful tool that renames a bunch of layers or composition or pins in one click. You need to select layers for rename, write new name for example tail, you can rename layers, pins or project items. When renaming pins, you are selecting pins first, then click pins in script window, set new name and hit rename button. Pay attention, all expressions updating automatically. It works well for project 2, just select items and rename them as wanted. Measure tool measures distance between two layers in pixels. Select two layers, press button and see result. Replace tool is similar for rename one. The difference is that it replaces names. For instance, we want these compositions named scenes instead of character. Write new name in the window and press replace. Here we go. Lock property fixes value. We can block rotation for this layer by selecting keyframes and pressing the lock button. Lock property. 
Now when I try to rotate layer, nothing happens, for property is locked now, and it may be useful when set up animation. Let's dip in auto rig. For example, we have a character. Delete unused layers. Let's set puppet pins first. Before applying after rig, we need to set up bones. By the way, do you can link pins names without creating bones. You can select three types of animals. First option is for horses, cows, giraffes, pigs, camels, etc. Second options works good for cats, dogs, dinos, birds. Last option for humans, bears, rabbits, monkeys. We select human, of course, and set pins for head, neck, arms, body, pelvis, hips, knees and feet. Next, create bones using Bones tool. It is good practice to name layers so you won't mess around in the future. Deselect all and hit full character. Script is searching suitable values in Bones names and offers to link it. Let's see if it sets correct. Thigh and feet looks right. Click next. Next. And we see it failed to link arm. Change it to L arm. The same for the right arm. Next. Head, neck, body, no tail for character, so leave it blank, OK. A bunch of controllers have created and now we can shy unnecessary controllers and we are done. I didn't split legs and leave some space between. Now that I create outer rig, I won't do it, for script uses puppet mesh and once I do even a little change inside rigged mesh, it will broke. You see this wacket stuff, not good at all. So you have to create character with separate extremities. That's all for now. Please donate by clicking link on screen. Next video will explain animation tab. Bye bye.